Our Region's Business is sponsored by PNC, for the achiever in you. And by Fregasso Financial Advisors, how different could your life be? Fee-based investment management securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA SIPC. Our Region's Business. Innovation. Transformation. Momentum. Improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, strategies to take your business to the next level and tips on taking it with you when you retire. But first, the all-important elevator pitch and how it could make your business into a million-dollar enterprise. Nell Merlino is CEO and founder of Count Me In for Women's Economic Independence. And welcome, welcome to Pittsburgh. Uh, thank you, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, you got your big what, national competition coming up late September in Philadelphia. Yes, we do, yeah. and I really hope some women from Pittsburgh come out for it. Okay, well, t for people who don't know the organization and, and, and Make Mine a Million, what, what's it all, where did it come from and what's it all about? Well, it came from our understanding of the national census, which suggested that there were millions of women in business. There are about 10 and a half million women in business across the United States, but only 2.6% were at a million or more in revenue. Mm -hmm. And when we realized that, because there are about six and a half to seven percent of men are at a million. So only about half as many women-owned businesses yes. operating at that level, a million dollars yes, or more. Yes, yes. Huh. There are a million men at a million, about a quarter of a million women okay. at a million. So we sort of said, hey, you know, we know women are as smart as guys, so why aren't we, um, you know, growing businesses at that rate? In fact, 70% of all women-owned businesses are at $50,000 or less in gross revenue. Wow. So we started the competition to help women get over whatever the barriers were to growing their business beyond that really small amount and have found across the country a real interest in growing their businesses. And we do it through a competition that's sort of like American Idol meets The Apprentice. You get 90 <laughs> seconds to... Um, do a pitch about your business. That oh, the classic elevator pitch, yeah, right? It, it yeah, it is, it is, and it is so powerful because you, you, you can't sell, you can't hire people, you can't do anything unless you know how to do that. But we have women come and do that. There'll be at least 100 of them doing that in Philadelphia. They get uh, judges and feedback from experts. And then we pick a group who seem to have the best potential to grow to a million within 18 to 36 months. And they get a, um, a uh, gift certificate from American Express for $1,000 toward their business. Uh, they're our founding partner. They've been working with us for five years on this, and they, they do different, very innovative things with, with, with the women as they grow their businesses. Plus, they get business coaching, and they get national publicity. So it really helps their businesses. It gives them a real jolt of both exposure, knowledge, and, and access to experts that helps them grow. Wow. So, th so primarily what happens at the competition, though, is, is the pitches that they're going the to get up and make the 90 seconds? Yes. Huh. The pitches, the feedback, the discussion. We have a rehearsal the day before where the 100 women usually come, and none of them leave. They stay all day to listen to each other because you often hear things about another person's business that you know applies to you that didn't come up when you did it. So there's an extraordinary amount of, I think, I would really call it transformation that takes place because the biggest challenge for business owners is isolation. Mm -hmm. If you're the boss, your employees aren't going to tell you often how to fix it. And a lot of business owners, small business owners, male and female, work by themselves. Sure. So who do you get feedback from to help you improve your marketing or your sales pitch or your product, for that matter? So this offers all of that, as well as the national exposure, as, as you, you know, win the competition. The national exposure is huge. For well, that is really cool. And we actually had, what, somebody from, a, from the Pittsburgh region, from our yeah, region? Yeah, yeah, a who, woman named what? Diana Dean from uh, Murraysville has a, it's a, a company called Epiphany. It's Counseling and Wellness Services. And she came out to our event in Denver in April. So she needs company. So, so our, <laughs> some more women from uh, the Pittsburgh area need to go to Philadelphia at the end of September and, and do their 90-second pitch. And they'll be amazed at how much even doing that 
improves their chances of increasing their sales and growing their company. So really, you think that that ability to just quickly explain what sure. it is you do and the opportunity you're creating is that important to the success? There of was a business? woman. There was a woman last night at the. I, well, there was a pitch party. That's what we call them yeah. in Philadelphia last night at a country club outside of Philadelphia. She has. Um, she's the president of a family-owned business. It's been in the family for 44 years. They do both industrial and residential cleaning. She'd never, all she used to say is I run a, you know, I'm, I'm in charge of, you know, family owned business and we do cleaning. That's all she used to say. I, I, I said to her, I got to know more, I got to understand, because they're at a quarter of a million and she has plans to get to a half a million by going from print advertising to the internet and things like that. So she had some good strategies, but the story was terrible. She said their biggest competition was Stanley Steamer. So I asked her, how are you going to beat them? What would you do to, to you know? She perfected her pitch, came back to another opportunity, gave it fabulous. She goes to a luncheon, a women's business lunch, where when she's asked to introduce herself, she does the 90-second pitch. Dee Dee Myers, who used to work for Bill Clinton, who now works at the Federal Reserve Bank in community relations, comes up to her afterwards and says, I'd really like for you to call me when I come back from vacation because we need to expand the cleaning crews that we have at the Federal Reserve Bank in Philadelphia. So being able to explain what you do, uh, if you think about it, yeah. is really in, in this climate because it's got to be immediately that somebody sitting there needs that. Got to sell it instantly. Right? Yeah, they sell it, or at least make enough of an impression that somebody's going to keep your card or remember your text or your email and say, "Wow, when I need, you know, cleaning services, catering, uh, software development, I'm calling him or her." That's so great. yes. So if people want to get in the pipeline to come to Philadelphia, how do you do that? How do you become part it's, of it's this? It's very simple. You go to makemoneymillion.org. We ask you four questions. Like you know, you, you have to have been in business for two years, okay. at least be at eighty-five thousand in revenue, and want to grow your business to a million. For the opportunity to pitch, that's all you need. Okay. Then you can come to Philly the day before. You can, we have every Thursday we have a webinar where women can dial in at one o'clock and learn more about how to pitch and what, you know, what to expect when they get there because of the rehearsal on Sunday. The, the, the big event is on Monday and the winners are announced that afternoon. Very cool. Again, the website? MakeMineAMillion.org. All right, how can you pass up a chance to do that? Nel Merlito, thank you both. Thank, thank you, you much, very so much. much. It was great, yeah. Thank you. And next up, strategies to take your business to the next level. Stay with us.